Hi, welcome to this short video on how to use Eddy AI. So to compose a new email, click on the Compose button. You'll see a prompt box appear here. You can tell Eddy what the email is about. For instance, you can say, write an email to schedule a meeting. And then to generate an email, click on the Generate button, which is this one. You'll wait a few seconds and Eddy AI will generate the email for you. If you want, you can also add more context, like who the email is uh, going to. You could also write the subject of what the you know email is about for more context. And then based on the information that we've provided, Addy will take all of that into consideration. And then when you click generate a new email, it would use that to generate a suitable email. Yeah, so based on the information that we've given, uh, it's saying we need to schedule a meeting for a new employee onboarding, which is exactly what we've put in the subject. You could also rewrite, summarize, or paraphrase any portion of the emails written by Addy AI, or even emails written by you. So to do that, simply highlight on any portion of the email, and then a magic pencil icon will appear, click on it, and you'll see a list of options to make the text longer, make it shorter. You can improve the writing, you can fix spelling or grammar, or you can even give your own instructions, like make it sound like a 12 year old. And then you click the generate button and you'll get a new version of the text you highlighted based on your instructions. And this sounds more or less like a 12 year old wrote it. So to insert the text in your email, simply click the insert button and it would replace the original version with the new version. Now let's try replying to an email using AI. So to do that, simply click on the email that you want to reply to, click the reply button, and then you'll see the Addy AI user interface right on top of the reply box. Uh, you can select the tone that you want to reply in. Uh, it could be friendly, formal, a bunch of different tones. For instance, I'm not interested because this person's asking for a meeting while I'm on vacation, so I click the not interested tone, and then I simply click on the generate button, and a few seconds later, I should get an email. In addition to this, if you wanna add specific instructions, you can also do that by clicking on the maximize button, which will reveal uh, an input box, an instructions input, and you can write instructions like, uh, I'm only available after Christmas. Like this can be anything you really want, uh, any specific instruction that you want Addy to take into consideration when it's creating the email. And then you click generate. Awesome, now you see it has incorporated the specific instructions that we gave it and it said it's only available after, after Christmas. You could also write in many different languages. So to do that, simply click on the three dots to reveal the list of languages that we support. Uh, for instance, I want to write this in Spanish, so click in Spanish, and then save, and then click write again. Yeah, and it's generating this email in Spanish for me. We also have some other amazing features, like if you haven't received a reply to an email that you sent and you want to follow up on it, uh, you can simply click on that email and then you click on the follow up button right below the last email that you sent. So let's click on it. And Addy AI will generate two suitable follow up emails for you that you can select uh, based on the one that best fits your context. So that's it. If you have any questions or feedback, uh, please feel free to email me at michael at addy-ai.com. Thank you so much.